So five finger, hips up to four finger, elbow nice and deep, take over that shoulder, right? And then go for your forearm. Now, what you're gonna find is you needed this grip to get his hand to the mat, right? But now when you wanna go for the chicken, when your thumb literally gets in the way and it starts getting pushed against you a little bit, all right? So what you wanna do is once you get your own wrist, I usually kinda of finagle my thumb out of it and go back to this one, okay? You can do that at all different intervals. Just find the spot so that you can make that adjustment, okay? Now, next step is I want him to look at the mat. The more he looks at the mat, the better the win is for me, right? So what I'm gonna do is, instead of me trying to go and use all my energy to pull him down, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna slide underneath him this direction, okay? And as I slide underneath, this leg is gonna kinda pretend kick him in the back of the head, right? So as I slide underneath him, I bring him that way. That make sense? Okay, now I've got my figure four locked up nice and tight. You remember doing the chicken wing from all the top side positions from last time, right? So remember, I'm going to bring his elbow high and take the slack out, okay? And then I wanna separate his shoulder and his arm. So I'm gonna push away with this foot. Say he's ready, all right? And then I lock it onto me, choke it out, and then just slowly rotate. And that's it. That's all you need for the first one, right?